none. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It's uh, it's session 146. These uh, these wonderful people have joined me for approximately uh, 156. Did I say 146? I say, like, what did I say? You said 46. What? You definitely said 46. Wrong! Incorrect! 156! <laughs> Jesus. You know what? Actually, though, if I if I go back to it and say, like, these, these wonderful people have joined me for approximately 146 episodes, that would be more correct, because everyone's missed, like, approximately. Hey, you know, a few here and yeah. there, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. Anyways, it's been a while. Why? Why have we been here for that long? What? I don't know. You keep coming, <laughs> you keep coming back, so I'm just like, I guess we keep playing. So... Let's go ahead and kick things off with a little bit of a recap. Previously, in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the party spent another evening in the Magic Academy of Dwemercore, planning an escape for the Horned Sisters' turbulence and violence. Patashai and Ashes spent some time speaking with the Necromancer Karstis, and learning more about the Academy, how it worked, and what options were available to them, while Bones and Ezra spent time organizing the particulars of their plan. The next morning, the party began the final preparations of that plan. They coordinated with the Horned Sisters, and then headed out, planning to visit Marta Moonshadow and Elon Freth in the Dorm's Essentia. But on their way, they had a run-in with Wormriddle. The Vice Principal had sent out a stern letter to the Academy the night before, warning that the culprits who destroyed school property would be apprehended. At the moment that the party encountered Wormriddle outside of the Fountain Room, both parties instantly knew that this was that moment. The Hag, already annoyed with the party over their previous actions and off-put by the presence of Bones, was immediately confrontational. But somehow, the party's remarkably cool heads prevailed, and to make amends for killing the Blue Slotty in the lecture hall two days before, which apparently ruined a test for the rest of the students, the party gave Wormriddle the Death Slot control gem they found in Halister's secret study. This, plus the party's attempts at negotiation, seemed to assuage the Night Hag, at least to the point to where she wasn't openly hostile. The party might not have made a new friend, but it seemed as if they might have prevented themselves from making a new enemy. From here, the party navigated to Marta's room, where the Moon Elf, after forcing the party to spill the beans on the plan, agreed to distract the headmaster during a private lesson that Elon would arrange. Though Marta seemed to have no particular love for the Horned Sisters, she did seem supportive of aiding them in escaping if that was their wish. Afterward, the party stopped by Elon's chambers, discussed some theology with the Dark Elf, and then arranged for Elon to set up the headmaster's private lesson with Marta. Elon uh, would then go on to coordinate with both Marta and the party as to when that would actually occur. At this point, the party had no immediate plans and a few hours to kill, so after having a midday meal, they headed back to Ezra's chambers, where they whiled away their time decorating for midwinter and considered other ways to pass the time until the evening when the escape plan would finally be enacted. And that is where we come back to the to the game so i'll drop you guys back onto the map um, wrong map wrong map every time wrong map okay so you are currently in ezra's chambers in the dorm decentia um Oh, I believe we did. We get a, a message, a missive. Yes, yeah, so you got a missive from uh, Elon, uh, letting you know the time. It said, "Hey, bro, it's freaking on." Yeah, uh, six o'clock. Freaking yeah. on. Um, it is approximately noon. Um, you guys have spent some time heading around the academy, taking care of things, speaking to people, um, having a meal. <laughs> getting access to the supply closets, 
um, putting together some uh, some decorations for midwinter, to where of which Ezra showed zero interest. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's been a that's been pretty much it. So you guys have already killed a couple hours, um, just kind of like whiling away the time. And now it's noon, and you've received coordination from Elon. That coordination has been passed on to Marta and to Turbulence and Violence, right? Um, so in theory, everyone is ready. It's just, you know, it it's not until 6 o'clock. So you guys could just hang out and pass the time until then, or you can decide to do other things uh, throughout the Academy if you so choose. What do you guys want to do? Oh well, you want to try and piss off uh, the bald dude until he does he you know does something. Wait, say what? Bald the, dude. The 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 wizard of Thay or the yeah the wizard of Thay. Nihilus. Oh, Nihilus. Yeah. I mean, we could. Do you want to pick a fight with him for a specific reason, or he just annoys you? Just because he kind of annoys me. Do, do you really <laughs> want to create an uproar right before our plan? True. It could really throw a wrench in things. You're right. We'll do it afterwards. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I don't have nothing I need to do, Dan, huh? Okay. I, mean... um, I don't really have anything specific that I can think of. No explorations uh, or I, I think, uh, Did we check in with the twins at, at lunchtime like we planned on? Uh, I mean, you guys didn't have the specific conver... Like, it wasn't a roleplay conversation, right? But we, like, hand-waved. You came back to the dorm. You coordinated with them. Um, and then you kind of, like, started spending time. Did they complete their scrolls of non-detection? They are in process, basically. So they spent part of the morning finding the materials, and now they are working on that. Well, the one is a abjuration. Yeah, it's going to be very so easy that, for uh, yeah. violence, but turbulence will be potentially a, a, another matter. Right? I mean, it, to, she could just scribe both the scrolls and... sure. They do what they do. I'm yeah, not they're here to judge. They're they're both doing. They, I mean, it's also another scenario of them just kind of like. I mean, they could do it faster potentially, but they'll be done before the deadline. Right. It's just they got nothing else to do. Just making sure we get that book back. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's easy enough, right? Like so, yep. partway through the um, the afternoon, uh, violence will cross the hall and just. Give it back to you. I mean, I'm going to be escorting them out anyways. So. And she'll hold on to it. <laughs> like, she'll she'll walk over, knock on the door, and you'll be like, I was going to be escorting you out anyways. And she'll be like, fine. She'll turn her on her heel and walk back to her fucking room. <laughs> if she shows up, we can chat. That's cool. <laughs> like, she's got, no, she's got no qualms either way. Right? We can chat if she needs to, to calm her nerve or anything. Uh, she seems cool as a cucumber, honestly. I didn't know cucumbers were cool. They are. Yeah. I mean, ideally. You usually keep them in the fridge. What's a fridge? An icebox. Uh. I was thinking about this what the what. You Your ass knows what Squarespace is. <laughs> oh, do I? Okay, gotcha. Fair enough. And there are sponsors for today. Nope. Oh, God. I thought so, that was Rage Shadow Legends. Oh, God. <laughs> Are we back to this? Okay, so, um, assuming yeah, that you guys... Get that Rage money. Assuming that you guys uh -huh. don't have any interest in um, heading out or exploring anything or going to any classes or looking up anybody, um, that's perfectly fine. We can just pass time, right? So, you guys spend uh, the next couple of hours... Basically trying to not make trouble or a commotion um, until it gets to early evening and uh, the... Watch, that's how we get caught is because we're not causing trouble. They're like, something's weird. They're too Everybody's quiet. like, it's too quiet. And uh, the the, the appointed time 
Marcus, right? Um, it is 6 p.m. Marta's lesson with the headmaster should be beginning. Mm, I probably should have figured out where Worm Riddle is going to be, huh? Do we? Oh, well. do, did you Elon explain six hours to, to us do that. how long the class was going to be? Or the um, session was going to be? Non specific. What, what the 15 like minute hour? session. Yeah. yeah. Was it like an it, hour? Was it, it. It wasn't like. It wasn't like uh, a precisely on the dot this is exactly how much sure. time it would take but the the impression was probably about an hour or more okay okay so what I, what i want to do is like i don't know like an hour hour and a half before two hours before i want to go find worm riddle i don't want to approach her <laughs> i just want to like dock her. her enough away that she knows i'm there you want to go ascertain her location well, yeah, no, but I want her to know that I'm there. Two hours Is that ahead really of time. A good idea. Yeah, because I want to. I want her on edge when the appointed time comes. Okay. Let's so I want. I want to like, like five be like minutes beforehand. <laughs> no, I, I want to just be like sitting there, just so she's like, for like several hours, she's like thinking she's crazy and like, oh my god, why is he there? Like, what what's happening? Like, I want her preoccupied. Okay. When this slows down. Roll me a d twenty. Is but someone so going want... with Bones, or is this just a Bones adventure? No, I feel like it's a Bones thing. I don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> okay, I, I also am going to give... I'm going to give Matt the other standing stone, because... Yeah. Oh, stone. <laughs> or just... Right. Somebody else needs the other standing stone. I don't know who. All right, take the other standing stone. Okay. Um, Roll me a d20, Bones. Okay. You are stabbed in the back by Nihilus. Four. <laughs> And the wisps stun you. Or it's Interesting. possible he isn't mad. Aren't you like technically working for him? Uh, I mean, I have a feeling he knows something's up at this point. I've been awfully catty with him. Mm. Boy, there's a joke there. Mm. It's because he's a cat. I said what I said. All right. Uh, okay, a four. Roll me an investigation check, Bones. Hi, Captain. A nine. Um, you leave two hours ahead of time. Um, you spend about 30 minutes walking around the various locations that you have are aware of. Um, including in and around her office area right like her her grounds her laboratory uh and you can find hide nor hair of worm riddle oh, mm. that's do you continue looking or do you try to do something else mm. we're basically taking these in 30 minute chunks unless something happens so the first 30 minute chunk of your four right you just didn't find her yeah, okay, so for the first 30 minutes, I walk over to her classroom. No, she ain't there. I go in her little smoke area. She's not there. Um, and I don't encounter anyone else on the way. Um, I mean, roll me roll me a d20. If you meet anyone else. A 13. I mean, yeah, you, you see... Um, uh, you see Elon... Right, like, so the, it doesn't take you 30 minutes to get to Worm Riddles and see there. So my assumption is, is the 30 minutes you went around most of the school looking for her, right? Um, so you uh, encounter Elon in the, the dining hall, right? You see Scriana wandering through some halls. Um, you see, uh, or you, you hear, rather, um, Spite and Demara talking to each other. Um, off one hallway that you're walking down, right? Um, if you want to approach any of them and try to, like, get a bead on Worm Riddle, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, the assumption is, is you're just kind of, like, keeping to yourself and quietly moving around trying to find her. I think that I will walk around for another half hour. Okay. Roll me another investigation check. Before I start calling favors. 
A nine. Another 30 minutes passed. Uh, you see Nihilus uh, walking down a hall. You come you come out of the abjuration classroom and you see Nihilus heading uh, uh, west when you're turning east, right, to head back to Worm Riddles. Uh, you still do not find her there. Um, it's another 30 minutes or so of just looking around the school, wasting time. Concerning, um, but it is what it is. Okay, now at this point I'm frustrated. I'm going to go find one of my friendly people. Okay. Any Literally specifics? The first, person, the first person that is not outwardly hostile to me. Okay. Uh... Uh, roll me a d4. Three. Um, you meet, uh, Elon, actually, as he is coming back out of the dining hall. He's finished his meal. Um, you meet him... Uh, as you are kind of like heading back, trying to explore or just trying to find people, right? So he's walking out of the kitchens um, and like heading back towards Dorm Ascentia. Um, so you meet him basically outside of the evocation classroom. Okay. I say, oh, hey, bud. <laughs> hey, uh, bud. Uh, uh, bones. Um, are, shouldn't you be kind of like looks around? Be getting ready. I'm always ready. Have oh. you seen Worm Riddle? Uh, um, hmm. Uh, not recently. No. Hey, do you know where she hangs out normally? Uh, normally, if she's not in her classes or. Dealing with the headmaster, she's in her office. Dealing with the headmaster. No. What's that Doing mean? something for the headmaster, I suppose, is a better way of saying it. Oh. Yeah, that tracks. Okay, well. You got any kind of way at... Can you, like, scry? Can you, like, find her? Hmm. <laughs> Not exactly my specialty. Yeah, mine either. All right, well, <laughs> I guess if you see her, you know, give me give me a shout. Kind of like he's a little quiz. He was like, "Why are you looking for Worm Riddle?" I don't know, just you know, because, and I, I give him eyes. Kind of. Sh All right then. Fair enough. Um, Give yeah, him the big I, if I see her, I'll let you know. Okay, thanks. All right. I need... Oh, I guess I just keep that... walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Roll me an investigation check. I'm going to around until there's only 30 minutes left, and then I'm going to do something else. Then you're going to panic? <laughs> okay. No, I'm not gonna panic. Exactly. Investigation check for me. Scary ass the house. Three. A three. Oh my! There she is. You run into the headmaster, and he senses something is up, and follows you around for the rest of the day. No, uh, but you do have a run. -in. <laughs> uh, you again. You're 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 basically looping through the halls, right? Um, heading heading through the hallways, heading to the classrooms that you've been to before, um, going back to Worm Riddles, going back to the dining hall, heading back up towards the headmasters, um, sweeping by the various dorms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and over and over and over again, you just, Worm Riddle is nowhere to be found. 
Um, well, if I can't find her, she ain't gonna be found. But as you are heading, um, I say I say heading, but uh, you poke your head into the canteen, right when you're going by. One time, just the off chance, maybe maybe worm riddles hanging out in the canteen, right? Who knows? Um, yeah. She's not, but Nihilus Jowd is. And as you poke your head in, the red wizard's uh, head raises up and his gaze meets yours. And he kind of... He has this kind of like... Uh, displeased look that I say crosses over his face. He almost always looks displeased. He always looks um, like that. Right. <laughs> but he looks especially displeased. Um, and he kind of like, he kind of like motions with his head as if for you to approach. Uh oh, I roll my eyes really hard, but I do it. Okay. Um, He looks at you as, as you kind of like enter into the uh, canteen. He looks at you and he says, I've grown dissatisfied with your service. Okay. I believe you incapable of accomplishing the tasks that I required of you. And what leads you to believe this? Because you haven't accomplished the tasks I required of you. Well, you know, true art takes time. I don't believe you. I think you're useless to me. And I want you to know that. Well, that's very hurtful. Thank you for saying that. You're dismissed. Missed you? Okay, I sit down. I'm mad now. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you, you, you like pull you pull a chair out from the table that he's sitting at and he his he's already like looked back down at uh he's reading a book, right? He's already looked back down at it. And there's that slight right, like as you the the squeaking of wood across the, the stone floor, right, as you pull the chair out and then sit down. And you see his I'll do a real too, so it's like he doesn't yeah. like raise his head, but you can see like like the downcast look. He raises his eyes up towards you, and with this just like perturbed, just like oh, look on his face. Yeah, bud. Sorry, what did you say? I was like, I, I was gonna say, I said yeah, bud. <laughs> So yeah, you, you, you know, I just thought I'd have a meal, you know, since you're since you're done with me. He looks at you uh, with that kind of like, uh, of course, um, and he actually says, "How droll!" And he closes his book and he stands up. Where where are we at? Where you're in the canteen. <laughs> Who's around to see me when I stab this man? As far as you can tell, no one. You're alone in the canteen. No, I'm not gonna stab him. The <laughs> wisp will kill me. <laughs> I mean, probably. I mean, he expects me to stab him. Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. Is that higher than your passive? 
Yeah, my pass is 22. Gotcha. I say, oh, hey, Nihilus. If not me, you know, who's going to do your dirty work? Um, as far as you can tell, you're alone with Nihilus. And he looks at you and he says, My business is not the concern of individuals such as yourself. You needn't worry any longer. And he moves to leave. In a very kind of like, you know, like, of course, the the lowly peasant refuses his dismissal. So I suppose I will remove myself. <laughs> Remove refuses his dismissal. Okay. Hmm. Mm, okay. As far as I can tell, I'm alone. No. I okay. No. I I do nothing. I let him go. Okay. Who let who go? He walks out of the canteen, and you're you're there stewing for a moment. Um, before you realize that's another 30 minutes gone, um, yeah. and you still have not found Worm Riddle. You have one 30 minute chunk left. Yeah. And we can, the Sending Stones are only, you can use them once a day, right? I think so. I think uh, so. refresh at dawn, I think? Something like that, I believe. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I can't find her, so I am going to go back to the party. I mean, easy enough, right? Doesn't take you five minutes to walk through the halls back to back to Ezra's dorm. Uh, in the meantime, as Bones has been out uh, out gallivanting for an hour and a half, has anyone else been doing anything, or are you guys still just whiling away the time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Happen. yeah, good. Happen. Playing Chin Chin. I think yeah. the plan was to reconnect with the twins at six o'clock. Sure. Because we definitely want some time to pass before. We yeah, you don't want to start the escape when when Marta right. is walking into the chambers. <laughs> That's fair. Um, okay, then. Uh, uh, about twenty-five minutes or so before six. Bones walks back into Ezra's dorm. Um, you want him? I'll bring him. I can bring him out to you in just a sec. Can Sorry, you? you're fine. Can you bring him out? <laughs> oh, Look at that is. boy! Uh, ah. he has been collected. Yeah. <laughs> is, <laughs> how, how dare you hold me? <laughs> He looks so happy. I want a happy boy. All I have is this fucking sleepy boy. I mean, that's gonna be PX in three years. All he do is sleep and stretch. And... That's gonna be PX in three years. And bite the lippo. He's not gonna have a lippo to bite. He'll bite You're the lippo. Cassandra wants another dog, so... Oh, well, maybe he's not getting one right now. Bite. Or cat, yeah, she just wants a an animal of hers. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Anyway, so I get back, uh, and I let everybody know. Hey, um, yeah, Nihilus, uh, I think is probably gonna do something. He doesn't trust me anymore. So, wait, he trusted you to begin with? I'm very trustworthy, Ezra. Thank you. <laughs> uh, All right. So, how uh, soon do you think he's going to do said something? I don't know. He just said. I don't trust you anymore. I don't think you can do what we agreed upon. And that's what hmm. he said. That sounds like a red wizard. 
Anyway, also I can't find Wormer. I don't. I don't think she's here. Did you check the exit? Troublesome. No. Was I supposed to check the exit? I just checked everywhere I thought she would be. I mean, if she wasn't where you thought she would be, is there a chance she's already heard rumor and? I don't know, I walked around for like an hour. I will say this, I, I actively assumed, again, it does not take Bones 30 minutes to go through the whole school, right? Like, I actively assumed Bones went literally everywhere you guys had already been. So, <laughs> that does include at least, like, poking your head into, like, the, the foyer, right? To be like, anybody here? You know, type situation. Hello, like Norton and Snotton, but we can't hear it. Right. <laughs> Great. I remember. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you got them all riled up. It's your own yeah. fault that he doesn't leave you alone. You got them started. No, I'm going to take him back to Cassandra once he starts biting me. <laughs> so five, four, three, yep, two. Basically. Uh, so what do you, what do you want to do now? Uh, I think Bo Zach, as Bones, you're the only one who has like a an impetus at this point, other than the party just yeah. waiting for six o'clock to hit. So, do you want to try anything else, or are you done? Um. Hmm. What do I want to do? Okay. Let's think. Out. Um. So the path that we're probably gonna take. Have we decided on what path we're gonna walk, or y'all are gonna go? I don't know that we have. Or if we did, I don't remember it. Okay, you're crazy. I'm sorry. I don't remember around. it being a specific com topic of conversation. So, okay. Um, well, I can't. I can't disable the Medusa trap by myself. So, what I want to do now is mm, get bit really hard. Ow. Okay. I, <laughs> I was going to say it. That almost didn't look like a bite. That almost that looked, looked like that something That looked a else. little pleasurable. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, no. excuse me. <laughs> I want to be an advocate for PX and be like, you started it. <laughs> we started it. <laughs> okay, I want to uh, go invisible and I want to um, make my way up to the top of the Medusa hallway. And I'll, I'll let everybody know. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead, cool. just because I don't, I, I don't trust Nihilus. Uh, roll me a d20. Okay, okay, hold on. Are you going it the hippo? way to avoid the Medusa? Then I assume. Yeah, I'm going the long way. Okay. Oh, I rolled a d100. Hold on. on. <laughs> Not it was that a four point five. It was a oh, four point five. I'm rolling tool. It's tough. Okay. Um, as you are heading, uh, the long way around, you enter, you leave the evocation class, um, and head into the cauldron hallway. Um, and as yeah. you do, you see Worm Riddle, uh, at the top of the hallway, um, heading east in, in through the fake doors into, um, Pallister, the area. seven statue area. Okay. Like heading back towards her area. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, that's dope. That works out. I gonna... continue with my plan. No, I think she's... If she's going over there, whatever. Okay. Sounds good. You're a hippo! <laughs> you want hippo! Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna get lashed in the face one of these days by one of those paws. Okay, uh, Bones, you head up north um, to the kind of like exit area, kind of like playing early vanguard guard scenario. Um, the rest of you, uh, how long does your, your invisibility last for an hour, right? An hour, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so you're good, obviously. Um, the rest of you while away another 20 minutes or so, and then it's six o'clock. It's go time. 
What's the plan? Roughly, how long does it take to get from my dorm the long way to the exit? I mean, at a brisk walk, two or three minutes, if you're very casually strolling, maybe five, you know? So, so my plan will be about ten minutes before the meetup, I'm going to go ahead and ritually cast Detect Magic on myself. Okay, gotcha. Um, so you're, the intention being that you're going to try to time it to have Detect Magic up while you're During doing the walk. The walk. Okay, yes. easy peasy. Um, sounds good. You do that, and... Your baby. Then it's six o'clock. Uh, or I, I suppose, Ashes, Matashai, are either of you doing anything in preparation of this, or or is this like... Uh, I mean... Let's fucking go. I, I'm assuming we're just going to find the sisters and start walking. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. I kiss you. Okay. Your baby. Six o'clock comes... You guys, uh, by the way, clarification here, because um, I want to throw this out. One, obviously, uh, Mossy is with um, oh. Bones, Bones, right? But for clarification, uh, Wolf is still with you. Wolf has been with you for like a day and a half at this point. Damn, yeah. how many so long? Well, was so there like, ever a duration? I don't know that there's ever been a duration. It's just every other time he's died, it gets <laughs> popped, to right? Bag. Or, they, or you well, have they, just they, they, you have just taken him back into the bag, right? Like, so for example, yeah. in like Waterdeep, you let him play in the snow that one time, right? Um, yeah. But you weren't exactly just going to let a dire wolf walk through the streets of Waterdeep. So when that was over, you were like, okay, and, you know, he went back into the into the bag. This is probably one of the first times that you just left Wolf out for an extended period of time. He's just chilling. That's, well, I mean... Mostly, me. mostly doing cat things, laying in a fucking corner, grooming himself repeatedly. Um, also, <laughs> just a random note, right? Because he's been around for like a day and a half. Doesn't seem to have like bodily functions and doesn't seem to need to eat. Well, that's good to know. Does Will he eat, have right? claws but... for tap-taps? Yes, he's got very big claws for tap-taps as a panther. Bigger than Odie's? Yes, Odie's, Odie's got tiny claws. Little so, baby yeah, needles. But, but there is, I'm assuming, an equal-sized um, toe bean to each of those tap Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ash just plays with each of those toe beans. Toe beans. <laughs> um, <laughs> loses a finger every time. <laughs> toe beans. Like ashes. Uh, ashes is just covered in claw marks by the end of the, the first day. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Uh, wrong thing. Coming from the blood hunter who's already covered in self-inflicted scars. It'd be he likes way. pain. Boy, <laughs> if you don't stop tap tapping me. Um, all yeah. right. It is six o'clock. Uh, Bones and Mossy are already in position. It is time for Team Escorts to take the wheel. Um, and I do mean that literally. Team Escorts start navigating yourselves through the hallways. Um, and let's see how this goes. Uh, assuming, of course, you your first stop is out in the hall, you meet up with turbulence and violence. Collect, that is correct. I am team escort, right? I don't remember yes. what team I was. Uh, uh, originally, you were team scout, but then Zach decided to go do weird stuff super early, and... Okay. Like, oh, you're oh, muted, so. you're, you're muted, <laughs> so so we see originally, the judgment, we just don't hear it. Originally, you were team, uh, make sure Worm Riddle doesn't kidnap and kill me. Yeah, now you're, I guess, back to team escort. Yeah, uh, you, you've got a, a creep in the corner. I see him. Get a creep in the <laughs> oh, corner. shit, a bloody common. <laughs> oh, he realized he was caught. Yeah, he's got a bump. He, he probably got him. 
Either him or Limbo got him. Okay, um, you guys head out uh, into the hall. A quick knock on uh, Violence's door sees the Horned Sisters come out, both from Violence's room. They both have small packs um, with apparently their belongings, or presumably their belongings. And they both seem very um, nonchalant about the whole ordeal. Have, have you invoked the yes uh, do we need to hit all of you nope hmm? okay the book hands it over goes in my bag of holding Now, shall we take the uh, long route or the short? Uh, uh, violence kind of like looks at you quizzically and she's like, I, I'm not sure we should. Uh, the long way takes us right past the headmasters. That feels like we're just asking for it at that point. Let's just hurry up before <laughs> we run into Nihilus or Niles, Fair whatever enough. his name is. I can't, well, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, right? Turbulence kind of gestures. Yeah. Lead on. All right. You 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 seem to be the uh, uh, most um, visually capable. Why don't you lead the way? <laughs> okay. Sorry. One more time. Uh, do you 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 should probably lead us, seeing as you're the most perceptive of the three of us. Sure, I can do that. As a vanguard. Um, also, Mitch, if you don't want to move Wolf around, because sometimes when moving multiple tokens, just leave Wolf uh, as is, and if something happens, I will move Wolf into position next to you. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Um, then, let's do that. Um, escort team, please roll me a d20. Ashes. Uh... 1d20 for the team, or everyone in the team rolling? 1d20 for the team. All right, Ashes, rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, roll, roll. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. One moment, though. Let me double check. Yo, <laughs> We got tossed. Um, <laughs> uh, as you round the corner, Matash Tai, uh, you find yourself here. face to face uh, with Scriana Shadow Dusk. Like right here, or right here. Uh, well, yeah, back where you were. Right. Uh, she is okay. here. Um, Ooh. in swap. She got position. a little entourage. Yeah. See, you have never seen her without her entourage, without her right. uh shield guardian and her Grell, a butler. Um, oh. And she just kind of like the the shield guardian is massive, right? Like this fucking thing takes up so much space, right? Like you'd have to press yourself against the wall to kind of like squeeze by it. Um, and as soon as you you show up uh, around the corner, it immediately kind of like stops because it's it's standing in a guarding position in a in a defensive position. Um, I say I say it stops. In actuality, you would have heard it if it was moving. It's been standing there. And you, your perception is like 17 or 18, right? It is 19. Actually, never mind. I don't care about your perception. Roll an insight check for me. Okay. I think he has advantage on those. Oh, that is true. Uh, well, I am up. Yeah... You definitely would have heard this, even though your your troop isn't exactly quiet, right? They're not making a lot of noise. 
This thing's big. You would have heard it if it was stomping down the hallway towards you. Um, and you didn't yeah. hear it. And the fact that Scriana is staring at the wall leads you to believe that she might just be standing here. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, um, I just say, keep going. Hey. hey. <laughs> Bye. You, you, uh, you say hey to her. Oh yeah. God. Natasha. Hey. hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Um. There is uh It's almost kind of like horror movie esque, right? Like the way her neck nope. twists and her nope. shoulders <laughs> dip and her head kind of like spins towards you. And her eyes kind of bulge out of her face. Um, and she, she like, stares at you for a moment. Um, this... Perfect. This, oh, yeah, this she looks kind like of, like, now. deep, piercing gaze, part right? Cat? Huh? What? Is she part cat? Is she, cat? she looks, uh... She looks like, she looks like Chitara. She looks... Not I fully human. Or, or um, the... Definitely, she she seems as if she has something else going on, right? Um, but the way that she looks at you doesn't seem right for a moment, Matashtai. And it definitely okay. fixes in your mind as potentially a concern when he says you're a pretty lady damn did, did you see your ghosts um and you yeah you feel right like you and Valena are both in tune right so as soon as that's said Valena's just like you feel her kind of like shiver in your mind, right? As if like a uh oh <laughs> kind of like scenario. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, thank you. Uh. <laughs> we, uh her head. Her we, uh, head just like you? ninety degrees. I wasn't talking to you. I I know, but she can't talk to you. She looks back at the wall. Okay, uh, can we get on by you? Your your guy there is a little bit big. Her head turns back slowly. Says, Lodia is quite large. Lodia, step aside. And you see the shield guardian just kind of like turn to its side, so it's basically like, has its back up against the wall. Alright, um, thank you. <laughs> I guess I, uh, just move on forward and kind of, like, squeeze on by, just kind of do a little side shuffle. Just do 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 do. Get the other side. Um, as, a after, right, like, you kind of like, okay, thanks. Right? Um, Scriana goes back to appraising this wall with just a very kind of like diligent attention until um. Ashes passes by behind her. And as Ashes passes behind her, she whirls around and just stares dead in his face. Hey, Scree, what's up? Scree. She looks up. Cobwebs and dust. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. You're not wrong. Where are you going? Uh, her head catch turns. Her for a second. She says, and with them. We are heading to Essentia. What did Ashes, what did you say immediately in response? I got cut off by Ezra. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear Jay saying anything. So. I think no, he's. No, 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 I think he's feel ha he feels happy about that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a that's the play it where it lies. <laughs> um. Roll me a persuasion check, Ezra. Your DC is actually hold up. Um. But Tashtai, roll me a 1d30. 1d30, uh -oh. huh? Oh, oh. That's an interesting... Uh... Blammo, 1d30. You Your get DC a is a 4. I can't fail that? Yeah. Huh. She looks at you. She says... I really like that she's kind of pointing at your vitiligo the the kind of like slight mm. sparks racing across your skin th th thank you i've had it for as long as i yeah, uh, chicken brown cow. can remember how long can you remember i'm gonna start waving the sisters through like i'm gonna you know step over here and start and and I'm gonna see that, so I'm gonna kind of play it off as trying yeah. to be distracted. Well, you know, start walking. my 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 uh, uh, oldest memory is about six years old, but from what my sister told me, it was you know younger than that when I you see developed. both the sisters, all three of you see both the mm -hmm. sisters as they are passing by, just kind of like they give Scriana this side eye of like. And weirdo, weirdo. Yep. right? Um, and then just pass through. Um, Ezra, as you're you're saying that, Scriana kind of like her, she she came she kind of sways just into this natural stance, and like she's almost rocking herself a little bit. Um, and you you get a part way through that, and her she stops, and her head kind of like snaps up, and she says, "I can't remember that far." I don't have that long a memory. I do have siblings, though. So That's many exciting. siblings. I only have the one, so... You're lucky. Or not. <laughs> I suppose it depends on the relationship. And the day? And the day, yes. What are you uh, investigating? Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> you are the weakest link. I'm okay uh, with it. I was just trying to distract her. If she's the one the conversation, uh, I yeah. um, You all are able to pass and then extricate yourselves from this encounter with Scriana Shadow Dusk. Um, and then move on. Bones! Roll me... Oh, actually. Oh, roll one. Roll me... A... D30. Actually. Flash, roll. I Boy, love being able to make up die... In role playing, <laughs> right, right, because I could be like, mm, you know what? I don't like a d20 for this. Let's go with something else. I rolled 18. 18. Um, you get you get to your position early, and it it it's a little boring. There's only only oh, one person comes that. out of Dorm Essentia. The whole time, and that's uh, uh, Elon heads mm -hmm. like east, and it, he goes far enough that you think he probably went into the canteen, right? Mm. Um, and that's it. You don't see anyone else this entire time until you see, and everyone feel free to start moving yourselves that direction, you see your party coming up. Um, from the Southern Hall, the Medusa Trap Hall, right? Or you? 
I assume if the twins don't know how to disable this trap, which I assume uh, they do. They walk right past it and go, bloop, and it's okay. disabled and walk through. I assume so. Zero issues. So, hey, Mom, is there anybody, any, or anybody or anything waiting on the other side of that door? Um, Mossy, I will say, is, has been doing like a, a tight patrol near you. The last five, ten minutes, right? Yeah. Um, basically, like, going out 20 feet, coming back, going out 20 feet, coming back, that type of thing. Uh, to see, yeah. sense what's going on. Um, and Mossy will tell you that uh, there are things in the southern room, right? Uh, so there's the foyer to the west, and there's there's a room on its southern wall. There are things in there. Um, very, very light steps. Um, but enough for Mossy to pick up. Hmm. Okay. Other than that, though, uh, nothing as far as he is able to tell. Okay, noted. Okay. I, can, I mean, I can't get in there without opening the door, so... Right. Um, so uh, you guys actually don't see uh, Mossy and Bones. Mossy and Bones are invisible. Well, Bones is invisible. Mossy is under the ground, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. For the most part. But when you arrive, it's easy enough for you guys to make contact if you so choose. Otherwise, um, you're you're here. Yeah. What do you want to do? Now? As they arrive, <clears throat> uh, Matt's up front. So I would just like tap him on the shoulder and real quiet, just in case anyone's listening or around, I'd be like, uh, Mossy says there's stuff in the south room. I don't know what though. Roll me a stealth check and Matashtai, um actually roll me a perception okay. check because I'm assuming you guys are trying to be very cognizant of your surroundings during all of this. I am, yes. Smashed it. Actually notices you before you you get the impression right um you already knew that bones was going to be around and waiting so as you're approaching the door you're kind of on the lookout both for anyone but also for bones so there's there's almost just kind of like this imperceptible or barely perceptible breeze from bones's movements towards you and you you realize he is there right before he touches you. Sorry. Nice. Um, and then everything that you just said, Bones, you say. Damn, he's so um, perceptive. It's a. That's mm -hmm. kind of whisper. Like the south, like the south room in the next room. Yeah. Okay. Worry about it later. Uh. All right. You all ready? Here we go. Yeah. I'll step through and immediately, you know, say, man, she lost. You, you open the door and as you open the door, the, the hand hovering in the air foof, spins towards you and you're just man, she lost. And the hand just kind of like its fingers were flurled out towards you, right? The fingers just kind of drip down and it, it, it re assumes a relaxed position, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Ezra. All right. This whole Scanning time, the area. Yep. This whole time, Ezra, you've been following with your detect magic up, right? So mm -hmm. you hit, obviously, you hit the big notes of Dormer Core's just fucking filled with goddamn magic. It's really annoying, right? It's yep. just like this aura of magic around you at all times. It's but um, the Shield Guardian obviously mm -hmm. felt magical. Portions of Scriana mm -hmm. felt magical. Um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The um, the Medusa statue, the trap, the the um, uh, the the fucking mural, right? All magical mm -hmm. portions of the magical. Um, you yeah. see now there are intense uh, runes, sigils across this door that your party has just entered into, right? And then obviously, you what's the range on your detect magic? Thirty feet. I posted it in... Okay, gotcha. 30 feet. Um, so as as the door is flung open and Ashes heads in, you are almost assailed by the magic 
just wafting off of this fucking arm. <laughs> it almost like it almost like sucker punches you in the fucking face with like how extreme the pressure of magic is from this fucking hand. Um and it is laced with various different types. There's necromancy, enchantments, um transmutation, all binding and and fixating this limb, but also there is just an intense amount of evocation um, and energy, right? Like, like just the arcane kind of stored in this fucking hand, right? Um, Sick. But other than that, and other than the other kind of like natural things right the the coat check room does give you kind of like wafts of magic yep. because there's various enchantments in there etc etc um there doesn't seem to be anything pinging or going crazy ashes and matashta you were wanting to do something immediately as uh you you said you came in looking around checking everything Talking, right? che we're, we're checking corners you know we're, we're... checking corners um yeah. Seems clear. All right. Uh, I'm going to light up the invisibility lantern just in case. All right. Invisibility lantern. Oh, God. Is up. 30 feet on that, right? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Before I do that, I forgot Bones is in here invisibly. Never mind. I cancel that. Okay. So <laughs> so like... instinctively, Matashtai is like, oh, okay. Like... I, I don't want to deal with these fucking invisible. And you're like, oh, wait. I got one of these fucking invisible guys. Never mind. Hold up. <laughs> There's a reason I cast it detect magic. <laughs> All right. Well, then uh, I'm going to head towards the way to Slither Swamp. Give them give another like yeah, way on walking. through. And um, honestly, I don't think we talked about this, but I think we should just like take them all the way to Slither Swamp. I know that's a time investment going from one floor to another, but to be oh, thorough. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm fine with it too. Actually, let's, let's actually take them to Slither Swamp and, and either introduce them to a place where they can stay or show them the way further up. So Ezra starts I mean, pulling out his, his they're gonna scroll. Are going to stay with the Bully Wugs? Or are we just going to get them... Uh, I don't think like, they're, they're going. planning to stay with the Black Tongue Tribe. I think we're just... That, that was that. Trying to get them in a place where, they are, where we're yeah. sure that they're good yeah. and then can make a decision on what they want to do next. So as, oh, Ezra oh, stops yeah. pulling out the scroll that he has written as an introduction. <laughs> right, the... The, the letter of introduction to the Black Tongue Tribe. <laughs> He's just as like, puts that away. oh, never mind. Puts it back, yeah. <laughs> just shoves the scroll back down. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Um, all right, then. You all decide to see this through to fruition um, and start leading... The Horned Sisters, Violence and Turbulence, up through the sloping tunnel out of Dwemer Core. Um, Bones? Yeah, what's up, bro? Maybe you keep a uh, healthy distance with Mossy to make sure we're not being um, followed? Oh, behind? Okay, I'm on it. Okay. I fall back like 60 feet. Bones creates a rear guard, and the party moves out of level 9 of the dungeon back towards the Slither Swamp with the intent of guiding, or at least handing off, the Horned Sisters' violence and turbulence. And about five minutes into that journey... Your legs start to hurt a little bit because the incline is a little rough. Um, <laughs> but otherwise... I haven't, haven't been doing my cardio. It seems fine. There does not seem to be an immediate pursuit. And you press forward... I walk on the ceiling so it feels like I'm walking downhill. Is that how that works? No. <laughs> no it's not how that I works. mean... No. <laughs> no. I was going to give it... I was going to give it to you. I don't know. Kinda. I mean, I was going to give it to you on that one. 
but that the same thing though next time you're walking uphill i'm gonna right. i'm gonna have to point it yeah. out <laughs> it goes both ways yeah now if i'm going down then sure. it's uphill sure totally all right you make your way it's a it's about a 30 to 45 minute trip um closer to 45 minutes right um it's boring there's a couple of switchbacks that you have to be cognizant of but for most for the most part it's a single tunnel um there's a few larger kind of like um caves that kind of like bell out and then you are back in the slither swamp well okay that was easy Uh, I'll ask the sisters while we're here. It's like, how far have y'all made it before, you know, something went sideways? Uh, we never made it out of the building. Okay. We tried... Okay. Twice. Really tried twice. And each time the headmaster was waiting for us. All right, so now you have some options. I don't know, like, ultimately where are you guys heading or where do you want to be? Because if you're talking about getting to the surface, we can give you some directions. Uh, we're only persuasion check. I'm trying to persuade them. What do they want? Persuasion. Minus one charisma. Here we go. Cinco. Um, they, uh, they act as if they didn't hear your question, Ashes. All right, whatever. <laughs> like, there's, there's, I assume, kind of, like, light conversation happening the whole time. They're kind of talking amongst each other, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And one of them, uh, uh, Violence responded to your first question. And then as you go to ask your second question... They kind of like look at each other and it's like they're distracted um, and they ignore your second question. Okay. Anybody else any particulars or are you just walking? You just do it? I mean, do we want to you know, just take We're them walking. to the north exit of the swamp and yeah, yeah, I think we just kind of warning about because like I'm, I'm a little nervous of just leaving them on the floor, and then we come back and find out that they've tried to like enslave the bullywugs or some shit. So uh, uh, that's why, like again, I said let's take them to the north exit. Yeah, warn them about what not to do in Willowwood, and head back down, and leave them to yeah. their uh, vices. Sounds good to me. Oh, but then they're going to go through the lost level. I uh, you're about muted, the, Zach. The I think well, I mean, we could tell them that we've got He's allies the there. Oh, okay. that um, can, that... As you, you all are kind of like maybe having some private conversations, talking to each other about various things, um, violence and turbulence will both look at you and they'll say, so how are we going up the rapids? Good question. Good question. Right. We've been taking we, the portals, haven't we? We usually portal back up. They kind of narrow their eyes at you. Yeah, I didn't think about that. We've been taking portals. Is that the only I way? Mean, I'm sure there's another way. I just don't know that we've found it nor used it. Fine. Where's this portal? Not, neither of you have the ability yeah, to... Hold apply. on. Oh, God. All right, we are on... Turbulence. Or, actually, it's violence. Violence will say, um, I have some options for things like that, but um, I remember when we came down, 
it wasn't exactly a area conducive to just magicking our way through. There were quite a few waterfalls, several rapids, and it's a long trip to right. just so, fly through. We, sure. can, we can walk the Lost Level, but then we could take the Rust Monster Portal from 6 to 2. But again, that's taking a portal if they don't want to. Yeah, that... It, if I mean, they so they're... they they responded um, when you said uh, that we've been taking a portal. They they were kind of like, kind of like in this if it's the only way kind of matter. It's not. Right? It's not. If you have the ability to. Oh, that's it. right. We we had Willow always give us a blessing to. Yes. To protect us. But oh do god! We, uh, uh, it, it, who wants to have a conversation? That's Sanctuary. not a conversation that I want to have. Hey, yeah, we have these friends. Really... You wanna? Yeah, I don't think I don't really think she'll magic? be willing. Oh man, she'd be so fucking miffed. Especially um, since Zach's been working I mean, so hard Russell to curry paper for his gabos. I don't think that's uh. So there, there's this kind of like um, slight air that's going on here as as this topic of conversation has been broached. Um, and eventually Turbulence just says, if you don't have a solution, that's fine. We don't have to rely on you. We can find our own way out. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know that we have a solution that's surefire for you, right? Then it is what it is. You've broken us free of Dwemer Core. We can make it from here. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know if you already mentioned it, but um, we we do have allies. Um, a two force. Up so there's here. Black Tongue here. There's Skull yeah. Takers on six, on and there's six. a Legion on three. On um, so I mean, if you if you let them know. That you know us, um, they'll likely let you through. The Legion might be kind of iffy. I don't know if they're just gonna be like, "Yeah, go on through our area." So you might have to just just they're gonna ask you to register with with with, uh, with them. They just keep they like to keep a log of everybody going through. We've it's... been through the Legion's territory before on our way down. Okay. Well, technically um... not on our way down, but we've had some experience with them. Right. All right, well, um, I'll stop wasting my breath. Uh, uh, Turbulence gives you this kind of like, like, look of like, yeah, maybe you should. Wow. And I do. Savage. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, it, it, unless there's any, there's we don't have to split hairs on this or anything like that. Unless there's something else super specific, um, the the Horn Sisters are they're ready to just make their way on their own, right? Um, I hope they uh, remember the power. I hope someone told them the password to the Poison Cloud. They do uh, seem to be aware of it. Yes. Mm, damn it. Um, so, um, there is, is a... Is that still up, even with Karstus back in Dramacore? It does seem to be, yes. Wow. Um, uh, it's a Dramacore protection. Yeah, there, wow. there is a moment, however, whether you guys want to just drop them off at that point, or whether you want to take them all the way to the northern exit, back into, um, floor seven, right, into, into the land of the stone men, um is up to you right but either way there is a moment when it becomes clear that you have gone as far as you're going to go and the sisters are going to head off on their own and they kind of like step away from you right um and there's this clear like division of it's them and it's you and uh violence looks over and she's like well thank you 
for your assistance. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm just glad everything worked out. Is is there anything that we out of character are supposed to be thinking about from Bones' perspective? Was there any agreements or anything that I am unaware of? I don't think so. We can always like we can always like revisit if need be, but I don't believe okay. there's like a reward or a favor oh. or, or anything like that. Just, um, just make, trying to make sure we cover bases. Yeah, if yeah, we're yeah, supposed yeah. To. yeah. Um, Zach can clarify for us when he gets back, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything super specific. Okay, uh, but we go back. Uh, yeah, violence is relatively cordial, but not like, oh my gosh, thanks, right? Um, mm -hmm. And turbulence okay. is positively standoffish, right? Um, she's just like, yeah, thanks. You know, you're welcome for your life. And then they wow. they turn on their heels and they walk away from you. We After they uh, leave earshot, I'll like lean over to to Ezra and be like, "What do you think the chances are they're going to beat us back down there?" Oof! I hope not. Feels like that's a waste of time then. Yeah. Yeah, it does. You think he's waiting for us to separate before he uh, intercedes? Lex them? Um, Non-zero chance. Yeah. Yeah. We tried. We we did what mm -hmm. was asked of us and nothing more. Shall we uh, continue making our way? Making our way. Yep, we go back. Okay. Easy enough. You head back the way you came. Mm hmm. Find as you re enter into Dwemer Core. Um, you give your announcements to prevent uh, the magical protection that is there from doing anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you kind of step into the foyer proper, uh, the door opens. I swear to and, God. And you see uh, the headmaster standing there. Uh, in the open doorway. Um, hey, and, boss man. And he looks and he says, Oh, just out taking a evening stroll? Visiting some friends. Ah, chummy with the uh, uh, amphibians above, if uh, I the, recall. Bla Black Tongue Tribe, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting, interesting. And how how are they doing? Doing a lot well. better now that you know do, yes do, they are doing them. well you're sure on that doing a lot better since you know some of their members weren't turned to stone in some twisted menagerie a few floors above oh well you know uh roll me an insight check I, i'm assuming this isn't is this all of us? Is this just ashes? Is this? I mean, any of you who want to oh, roll, damn it. I run can't roll for checker, anything tonight. More than welcome to. I mean, you're all here. You're all standing here, listening to the words that are being spoken. But you know. Hey, hey, hey Matash, you want you want, <laughs> you, want to, you want to roll an insight check at advantage? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can. There Otis we go. Bobotis. Ugh, that was disappointing. Nope. <laughs> no, I cannot. Still better than what I rolled by one. <laughs> the headmaster looks at you all and says, Well, hope you had a good evening. Do you have any plans for midwinter? Well, we did finish uh, decorating uh, yep. the lovely, dorm. Lovely, lovely. Yep. I'm excited yep. to see it. 
I'm not, not even we'll sure a, you're going to be around year. midwinter, are you? Nope. Nope, we're we're probably we're, we've we've got plans to move along, but move along. Uh, r rumor has it you were uh, instructing Marta. How did that go? Rumor has it. Indeed. Well, we knew there were the that was a favor we had gained by helping somebody. So, mm. how very nice of you. I do believe she enjoyed the lesson quite enthusiastically. Picked up That's some good. things I think she had been lacking. Oh, no. Glad to hear it. Did he put the demon back in? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. Surely not. Well, demons and devils, two different things, guys. Kind of hate oh, each yes. other. That was that was the important part of that. Yeah, that's that statement. that seems like the kind of thing that Asha should be like really anal about. You know, there's a difference. <laughs> you know, there's that, a that difference, a, guys. That is a Jakeism, not an Ezraism. Yeah, I just fair. want to make yeah. that clear. The River Styx is there for a reason. That master looks at you and says, "Well, I don't want to keep you." Everyone is so busy these days. Does he does he smell brimstone? Is it this 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 the sulfur one? Definitely smells a little bit brimmy. of brimstone. Yes, a little brimmy, brimmy. Little, brimmy. Little, little brimmy. Okay. It looks at each of you. This very appraising glance. I need every one of you to roll me either a deception or a performance check. Ah, yes. Perform. Both, oh, both not, are the same. Not at advantage, but it is... Oh, not God, I don't want to roll. It's going to be one. bad. I can't roll tonight, Jeremy. No! Uh. <laughs> I rolled a nat one, so just congratulations, everyone. Pretty rough. I almost rolled a nat one. The headmaster rolled a natural 20. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good, good, good. For a total of 29, if you're interested. I sure, wasn't sure. Yeah, great. Love it. <laughs> oh. The headmaster oh, looks at each of you, and you see this kind of like smirk start to widen across his face. Just kind of like nods. He gives you he gives you that almost kind of like uh, Frodo, well then keep your secrets kind of nod, right? <laughs> kind of like scenario. He just grins at you all and nods knowing that you're up to something. And then poof, there is a small puff of smoke and the headmaster's gone. Logged. Because 90% of the students aren't up to anything at any given yeah, moment. Yeah, right. They solemnly swear. We're not the problem. Over. Okay. You're It'd back be in... suspicious if we weren't. You're back in Dwemer Core. What do you want to do? I didn't it's... go with the twins. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was on the phone with Siley. Say what? They're good. Honestly, we just like walked them up and said, uh, good luck. Well, that's anticlimactic. Huh. They're probably yeah. going to kill your boys. Well, um, I expect to take a couple sessions off while I hunt I, them. I think <laughs> at least a, I at least hinted that we told them about uh, all oh, of our like. You guys told them allies. multiple things. You told them okay. all about your various allies, to name drop you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, un unless they, the only. Right, like they could walk through the the you know land of the stone men and get turned to squish, but other than that, they they that could be a problem. Yeah, should in theory be okay in most places, um, as long as they are not evil and going to you know kill your allies. So sure, if if they were astute enough to make it into Dwermacor, but they cannot subvert a family of stone giants, 
They should never have been students at Y'all been Plus. chased multiple times by that family of stone giants. Well, we don't want to kill, don't wanna kill don't them. Care. That's fair. When are we are going to commit to just murder hobo? Never. Murder hobo! You, right. just... you guys you guys are back in Dwemer Core. Uh, it's probably around 7.30 or 8 p.m. Um... Mm. Feel like no, I don't feel like no. He, he takes it back. He doesn't feel like I don't. I don't. Well, feel do like. it. Do we make our way down to eleven? Take him away. Or ten, rather. Is it is it time? Oh, are we leaving? Do we have anything else to do here? I'm done. I mean, I guess. Do I have any I mean, loot? Do we want to, like... Actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm down to go. What about me? Fine. Uh, oh, yeah, we did the Spite Once book. He was not super happy with the outcome. Spike wants book. Spike does not like book. Spike, Spike want book. book. Spike want book. Give Spike, Spike book. book. Yeah. Or so those are actually kind of done. Uh. Are we killing Nihilus on our way out? If his ass looks at me wrong, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of his attitude. He's sick of yours. Okay. No, he's sick of his lack of performance. I think at this I've point... I've actively chosen not to perform. I could. Oh, he, co he could. He could if he wanted to. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. So, <laughs> so is the plan... You guys are going to head down to floor 10? I think so. I... I... So, all right, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm going over all the things that I think we could possibly do here, aside from, like, start asking people if there's anything they want us to do or whatever, which isn't necessary. Uh, the only, like, quote-unquote loose end that I can think of is fully exploring the floor. If we don't care, uh, I'm fine with, you know, foregoing that for now and just seeing what's, you know, further down. That's all I've got. I, don't I know. have zero interest in setting foot in Nestor's classroom. Oh, come on. I'm sure he's a fine chap if you get to know the guy. You, you haven't read the shit I've read. The he's necromancy. The no, I have not. He's the necromancy dude. Yeah. Oh, Nestor? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he's he's uh he's Karstus's teach. He is Karstus's teach. And you saying Karstus covered in necromatic boils isn't enough to dissuade you. It was you fun, please. Everybody kind of got a little fucked up. Like, I didn't get fucked everyone up. Everyone was worse for wear. I wasn't worse for wear. You didn't participate in monthlies. I did not participate. I think actually that's exactly what happened. You not participated. You actively um, did not participate. Yep. Semantics. <laughs> Matt tried to participate, but I did. I made efforts. Yeah, you. Tr there was there was effort. Yes. All right. Well, I was I mean, told I didn't. Want to do, so I didn't. Oh, hey. told you you're welcome to come by for a lesson anytime. <laughs> if we get concussed like by that. a bunch of fireballs, then we better be taking a goddamn rest before we go down to ten. I'm look, not against look. it. I'm just saying we better take a goddamn rest after. I, I, feel I like mean, I you have take... your own room that you've been sleeping in. <laughs> yeah, we could just take a rest and then leave tomorrow if we really want to. I mean, it would be nice to, like, hang out for a day just to make sure that the twins don't magically show back up. <laughs> no, I, I guess if they did, that's not going to change, like, a whole, whole lot, right? Are we gonna like try again if it 
like doesn't stick for some reason. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Let's let's stick around and see if they show back up. That way, Ezra gets a rest, and all of us get to just chill out. I guess. Like, I don't so, see a reason not to. Are you guys? Is there a thing that you're actively doing to dick around? I mean, or I mean, I mean, unless unless we go deal with Maramba, I, I don't need a rest. I'm just thinking if we eat a bunch of fireballs <laughs> to the face. Ezra's saying um, if we go dick around with Marambra, I don't then want to immediately head to floor ten. <laughs> There you go. Look, yeah, all I gotta do is make some deck saves, and I quarter the damage of a fireball. I think I could take it. Must few. be nice. Yeah. Would you wanna it know be who nice? Cannot do that, and has the least amount of health in this party. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay, I so broke a hundred, so and like I can potentially quarter it, right? the damage. It'd be fine. Are we deciding? We're we're, we're deciding not to act on the. Because uh, before we were like thinking pretty heavily that we needed to kill. The seven. Are we now? I mean, I don't know. That's what we were talking about. I I don't think whatever this class is going to be is going to be an opportunity to actually kill kill Maramba. Oh, probably not. But you know, you never know. True, nope. you never know. I mean, there are other members of the seven here, right? Yep, there's yes. Trobriand, there's Arcturia. There are, well, Trobriand and Arcturia both do not live on this floor. Right. They were well, up oh, here yeah, they might have harassing left. the devil pretending to be Halister. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rude. On this okay floor, Rude. We, Presumptuous. Am I wrong? Is it? On this floor, we have potentially Nestor, if it's really Nestor. We have Marambra, again, assuming it's really Marambra. And I think those are the only two of the seven that we know about on this floor. No, so I don't think any of the other know. professors oh, are oh, sevens. Right. I don't think Bring or Figment or uh, Wormriddle are a part of the seven. So I think it's only the two on this floor. What did you ask, Jay? Like, we, we, we know all the names of the seven, right? Yes. You've seen multiple, uh, Im like, pictures, Powerless. images, statuaries, mule, murals, tapestries, etc. I feel like I have it listed somewhere, but in my cacophony of tabs and one yeah, sure. I'm hundred percent yeah. sure where it is right now. And I don't feel like sure. Sure. that's a future you problem. That is a future me problem. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you guys have a potential pit stop if you want to, or you can just head on. What's the, what's the choice? Are you going to go fuck around and find out, or are you going to leave and fuck around and find out? I feel like everything you guys do from for, from here on out is just fucking around and finding out. Generally our MO. That is kind of the... That is the MO. Yeah, absolutely. But welcome to D&D. &D. Right? The <laughs> game about fucking around and, and finding, finding out. out. Yep. I mean, I'm leaving it up to you guys. I, don't I, I have literally nothing to gain from staying on this floor, and I have something to gain by going deeper. I, so. I have, I have, an assumption that I have zero further to gain. So again, also do not give a fuck. Okay, well, well let's go. Then, then let's go, because I think this this floor is mainly for you. So if you are done, and I mean, we have I just needed my do, library time. Once I got that, then the rest of it's been Zach stuff. So. So, Jeremy, do you have floor 10 prepped? Yeah. He has floor 23 prepped. Dude. Oh, well, yeah. You're the one that watches his calendar for his prep sessions. I actually, I have, I used to be like an accountability partner on that thing. I don't think I've been in that in a long time now. Okay, I haven't, I haven't needed an accountability partner in a long time. No, so no I feel like if you did, you would have said something. 
Oh, good. Yo, Jeremy, get your shit together. All right, well, if that is the case, then you guys head through Dwemer Core. Oh, so hey, here's a question. When was the last time we were up? Like, do we expect, like, do we have anything going on the uh, on the upstairs? Like, you mean, are we waiting like, on anything? In or? Waterdeep? Yeah. Um, Nothing that I don't know recall anything maybe we some already... potions that'll be waiting for us but i don't think those are urgent did we already get paid means. for all of our stupid shit we had we were selling uh yes we got paid for the armor we got paid for the boat i think the boat was the big thing we were waiting on okay. i thought we got paid for the boat didn't we yes no i'm saying we got paid for oh. it and that oh, okay. was the big thing we were waiting on i gotcha. think I things that were active was Ashes was training more in um, alchemy. Uh, Matashtai was training in uh, Being persuasive. persuasive. Right? Um, Ezra wa had a series of research projects going on. And Ezra Bones, you had research. actually just ranked up in the Guild of Fine Carvers. So I, I, that, yeah. I think that's it that had really been happening above ground in in the city of splendors um so and if that if that helps i've got nothing topside and what's the in what's today's day it is day the 28th seven. it's the seventh of the seventh month of the seventh year it that means absolutely nothing to me the 28th of hammer hammer okay okay so the only thing to consider is that the magic shop resets in like two days but I don't know if we have any money to actually take advantage of that. Like, I don't have a ton, and I'm, I'm, I don't know that I'm interested in, like, common and uncommon things anymore. I don't, And I don't know if you guys care about that. Sorry, Rachel's in here talking to me. What'd you say? I said the only thing that I can think of is that the magic shop resets in, like, two days. And then it's oh. live for another ten. So, we got Yeah, to... I mean, I think it'll be okay plan a trip up later if we even care because yeah. at this point the likelihood of getting something that's cost effective is good and you're cheaper. talking a lot of shit considering the amount of things you guys have bought that have been very cost effective <laughs> we're yes, at the sir. point where for us to actually get a level up item is going to be tens of thousands of gold yeah, but you're also at the point where you're accruing now. tens of thousands of gold. That's a lie. You you don't have tens of thousands of gold? No, I do not. Have you recently bought something worth tens of thousands of gold? I was gonna gold? say. <laughs> oh, I have never had tens of thousands of gold. I feel gold. like the party definitely has tens of thousands. The party maybe, but I have not. Okay, fair enough. Alright. If if there is nothing um, keeping you in Dwemer Core and uh, you guys aren't heading up, then it's time to head down. You make Let's your get way. Some new music, god damn it! You make your way through the academy um, into the detention hall and then uh, past it, right? And. It is here that you you actually come to a location that you have not explored within Dwemercore yet. So, you you have been told to the south, right through the store. You've been you've been in here, um. So yeah. for clarity, you've been in here, right? But past here is all new to you. There is a portal on this south eastern wall, and then you have been told right that. There is a, or you know that there is a secret door on this east. And it's a image of an open book. I don't mm -hmm. have notes on it, but were we told what the trick was to activate? Let's uh, see. You were not told anything about the portal, no. Open book portal, we do not, we have not done the thing to get it to activate yet. Oh, do we know the thing? Uh, no. Has anyone tried opening a book? No. Alright, I got a spell book. I try and open a spell book. I don't have any books. 
There is no immediate response. Oh. Okay. Uh, you have a, a like an active spellbook? No, I got. Remember when we first went to the supply room? How else said I could oh, you got a, a blank book? one. Yeah. Uh, I pull out Hallister's spellbook that I just got back from the twins. Yep. Um, there is no immediate response, and then there is. You see the portal kind of like, as if there's the kind of like this slight pulse Action. of that silvery film that normally yeah. covers it, but it doesn't. It doesn't fully activate. It just zzz, zzz, and then goes dormant again. Uh, I don't Be careful use because spell books. So I'm, I'm afraid I... that like you know it might consume the book. If oh, like, like, a, like a damn wood portal. Yeah. I, I mean that's fine because I don't use spell books, but also I don't use spell books. So if it needs a higher level spell slotted spell book. Yeah, but that's in that spell book worth like five hundred platinum or some shit. No, th it, this one has a what is it, a third level or a fourth level is the highest. So Something it's, like that. Yeah. Would have been if it was it's pretty complete. cheap. Oh. What what's it's pretty cheap. cheap? Like a five thousand gold? No. Uh, third, if it's third level, it's twenty five platinum. If it's fourth level, it's a hundred platinum. Oh. Okay. I want to say it's a fourth level. Have we seen the book portal? Let me refer back to our info. We have looked at it, but we haven't. Uh, I mean, have we the seen other one? It? It? Yeah, have we? No, seen we the have other? not. We have not. No, this goes to ten. This goes well, to the floor we want to go to. No, there's a door. What do you mean? We don't. No, no, no. yeah, yeah. So no, the, there's a portal. Sorry, um, there is a portal on the southeast wall, and then there is a doorway that is a secret door that you've been that's been pointed out to you on the eastern wall. Open that though. that the portal and the door are two separate things. The portal is a portal. You have no fucking clue where it goes. Oh, the doorway, okay. though, is a secret door. It's a hidden entrance to the next level. I was under the interpretation that that portal was a portal to ten. All right, whatever. I open the door. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, actually, I don't open the door. Hey, are we? Do you guys want to try and figure it out, or like until we find the other well, one? Isn't it, all like, right. In, in, until we know where this door's partner is i guess it really doesn't matter what do you yeah. mean you don't want to walk into the throne room of the drow <laughs> matron mother that that seems like a fantastic thing to do yeah, i don't really want to do that but to no. be a fly on the wall when when they're all just chilling and this Ezra pops out i've got one last mislead that's about to expire so <laughs> stored in my house narketa Okay, well, all right, let's just go down the hallway. You guys start heading down the hallway. Oh, I need are to you, head down the hallway. Are you guys actively moving, or am I moving you? <laughs> I, I, I I moved. I'm uh, moving. I'm trying to find us. Hold on. I'm heading down the hallway. I'm here for the... Were we back? Yeah, we were back in the... No, that's uh, wool. I assume my detect magic oh. has since expired, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, we're way down there. Okay. This ends in, a, in, a, in nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Ashes, for <laughs> your pinging, but, like, the ping is less range than just seeing my character. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Um, are we on the secret side of a secret door? You uh, walk down the long hallway. There is a, uh, a sharp turn to the left. Um, and then you walk a little further down the hallway and you see yourself on the back side of a secret door. Sick. I, I open that bitch. You open it up. And uh, before you, you see a hall heading west 
to a set of stairs leading down. And east to another secret door that you are on the backside of. Um, as you step, as you all kind of begin to step through this doorway, you hear a loud pop, and then a puff of smoke as the headmaster appears next to you. Oh, hey. What's up, man? And, um... Ashes, the proximity to you with that puff of smoke is fairly intense. You're, you're, you just get a face full of brimstone, basically. Um, and you see the headmaster looks a little, like, flustered. Like, a little, um, uh, uh, unexpectedly, um, responding to the situation. He goes, oh, um, um. You, uh, you moved quick. I kind of expected you to stay the night. Um, oh, okay. Uh, you're headed downwards. That's a good, good for you. Fantastic. Um, kind of gestures very quietly, points, uh, to the east, says, Don't go that way. That's, uh, that's the bad way of, that's the way we keep guarded for Things. Does he gotcha. seem like he's full of shit? No, he told us that last time too. But Does it was he less, seem uh... like he's full of shit and directing us the wrong way? Roll me an inside check. I'll take it. Seems but as honest as you feel like this creature is. I believe it, him. He hasn't let us wrong yet. Has an honest bone in his body. The headmaster uh, looks at all of you and um, says, um, "You, uh, you know where you're going, right?" Down. Uh, not, I, I guess. I mean, you know, like... you know what the next floor is, right? Muriel's Gauntlet, Obsidia. Both right answers. Good, good job. Good we students! Learned. Good students! Learning happened. Yeah. Kind of looks at, at all of you. Like, jeez. Stale crowd. Um, you don't <laughs> happen to have a bit of a death wish, do you? I mean, we're down here. What does that tell you? Aren't you, aren't you specifically at war with House Sovereign Dark? Uh, we is we a not on the best of terms. That is true. I say yes, yes, yes. I am. And you're gonna walk down into. He has some beds to cut up. Is that where they live? <laughs> is that where they are? <laughs> yes, no, Obsidia no. is where. Yes. Oh, oh hell yeah! We're about to Zach. collect on some debts. Or die, you know, one or the other. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, it's been nice meeting you. Um, I assume this will be our last visitation. Ezra, I am saddened by the loss of such a promising young student. Um, we'll be back. We will be back. Hold on. Why do you think this will be the as last? Long as you, we are look, welcome, you see, you back. see the headmaster's face, right? He doesn't think so. <laughs> I am unfazed. Or at least I put on the front of being unfazed. Brave ever In Brave the Ezra got brave. Unlikely uh scenario where we do come back, would we be welcomed here? Oh sure. I absolutely education. absolutely perfectly acceptable. You know Assuming I don't miss my voice. Trying to not bring, you know. An entire house down upon our heads. I'm sure that will be perfectly acceptable. Also, well, I've been told that, um... Did you know who Mural is? I don't know. Well, 
I don't have any notes on Mural. I don't know if I would know who they are outside of if there are common knowledge type characters. Well, I mean, hey, well, you, we hear, you guys uh, have seen statues of them and tapestries. Oh, that's of one. Them that's throughout. one of the seven, right? Oh, hey, uh, didn't we? Uh, didn't we hear when we first got here? Trobrian and what's his face said Mural is making her move or some shit like that, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, that's all I know about it. The headmaster will oh. say. I have been I have been told that um Mural is um has been a bit more agitated and aggressive as of late. Probably because of how sovereign are. So you know you're walking into the Ant Hill after it's been kicked. I'm pretty sure that's a bad place to walk into. Let me put it that way. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright! I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye. I've got more important things to spend my time on. I'm sure. Enjoy There's your... an unspoken um, aside from dead men at the end of that sentence. What was the... the... The, the fireball training lady who Marambra right right okay Marambra Tetrarch Marambra Nightsteel the elemental mm -hmm. Tetrarch fucking title right there that, cool, I'm not I'm not typing that at this point she's Marambra Tetrarch in my notes forevermore <laughs> uh Marambra Nightsteel, Elemental Tetrarch. Elemental Nestor, Tetrarch. the Spirit of Decay, I believe is his title. Nestor, the Spirit Asshole of, of the Undead. You all are heading into Mural the Misshapen's territory. Ooh. So, as you Ooh. all bid the farewell... Elemental Tetrarch, the Misshapen. <laughs> as, you, as you bid <laughs> farewell to the Headmaster... Um, you begin to walk down what seems to be countless flights of stairs further and further into the bowels of Undermountain. More more than usual? Uh, well, normally it's not stairs. Normally it's just tunnels, mm. right? It's very uh, rare. Actually, I say very rare. From one to two and... So for from one the to first two, couple it was stairs. Uh, one to two and two to three, I think, mm -hmm. actually have actively have stairs. Um, I don't know that any of the others do off the top of my head so far that you've seen. Um, that's fair. Mostly well. Umber Hulk tunnels, right? Various tunnels, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and um, give me that new music. Like this. Move you guys on over to Electric Gauntlet. Very old. Do they, do, do they all have like super cool like subtitles? Like all the seven? Oh yeah. We, we should have asked Bring for what their all their titles were. Don't trust him. Ooh, my new Star Wars helmet's coming tomorrow. Two more which, which helmet? I got Princess one? Leia's one, the one she wore to uh, rescue um, Han from Jabba's palace. I got yep. that one today. And then tomorrow I get um, Commander Cody and Captain Rex's from oh, Clone Wars. Cool. And nice. those are the three cool, new cool. ones. Pretty These sweet. are the Lego ones that are that collector series. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How long they usually take to build? Um, I don't know. It depends how diligent. <laughs> A couple of hours normally. Guys should now be on a new layer of the dungeon. Okay. This is Lord. ominous music. I don't like it. Let's go back. No, really. <laughs> You're the one that pushed for this. <laughs> We've changed our mind. We like to run. I heard the music. I changed my mind. You are you are welcome to peace out. 
whenever <laughs> you want. Oh, that's a big map, too. Holy Christ. Yeah. I mean, Dwarmacore was pretty small. Oh, oh. It's oh. magic. Ah, yes. Is it? You know. <laughs> this is a great time, I think, because I've got to make some uh, changes. This is a great time for us to go ahead and um, take our break. He's as the, the party, <laughs> as the party heads down to a new level of the dungeon into Mural's Gauntlet, also known as Obsidia, the seat of House Avrandar. We're going to take our break. We'll be back in about five minutes or so for more Dungeons of the Mad Mage. We'll see you then. Bye bye, everybody. I guess. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.